What is up, you cream pie eating fuck puddles? I'm McStud. Welcome to the McStud Show. And I just like to say, if you will eat oysters, and you'll probably eat cream pies. You know, women, it doesn't fucking matter. That's fucking disgusting. Both ends of it. Um, and puddle fuck. You know what I'm talking about. You know what a puddle fuck is. <clears throat> doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist, scientist, to figure it out. But first, tasty beverage. Your mother's labia tastes like salmon patties. Mm. You hear that? I've been taking singing lessons. Uh, voice coach. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, and speaking of, god damn, while I'm doing this, let's, uh, you guys are fucking amazing. But I, I got something I want to be working on here soon. I ain't gonna get hit by fucking... YouTube or Facebook for this shit either, because it's fucking mine. I mean, I didn't create it, but it's fucking mine. God damn it. I fucking love you all. Mm. That is tasty. Here we go. Still waiting for it to pop up. Gotta love slow computers. Mm -mm. There we go. That's my new beat for my uh, <clears throat> new song I'll be working on. This is actually mine. I can share it. I'm going to put it on fucking streaming shit platforms. Uh, yeah, about fucking time. I just got to uh, make it good. That's what I got to do. Cheers, bitches. It's fucking Monday. Um, it's not Michael Bolton Monday. Michael Bolton's are on Fridays. But it's fucking meat shank Monday, goddammit. And speaking of motherfucking meat shanks, ladies, if you haven't gotten a meat shank yet today, you better get on your mans. Tell them to give that shit up. And fellas, don't be skimping on the meat shanking. This shit shit out. Don't be like McDonald's workers, afraid to give out fucking sauces like their paycheck depends on depends on it. Your fucking meat shank is free. Unless, of course, you deuce Bigelow, then it's like ten dollars. Give them that fucking meat shank. Goddamn. Don't 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 be stingy. For fuck's sake, you know, um, and there's no hating, no discriminating. If you're a man who's got a man, give each other that fucking meat shank. Fuck it. Pound it out. Unless the pitching and catching is set in stone. Fuck it. You know, let Mike Piazza take that fucking fastball. Shit. Ladies, if you got a badge and a man, don't keep his meat shank out of work. If you do that before long, your mom or your sister are going to be getting that fucking meat shank. So keep your man meat happy and at home, ladies. And fellas, you do the same. Give them the meats, goddammit. Don't be fucking, don't be fucking around. People would be leaving motherfuckers for that shit. Like I said, you know, several videos back. Don't, don't be one of these people giving up excuses every time your partner wants to have sex. If it's that big of a deal, maybe y'all shouldn't be fucking partners. I mean, there are some reasons why people can't and don't have sex, but just in general... Most people are fucking horny sexual motherfucking beings. Have at it. You know, don't just fucking, don't, don't be stingy. Give it up. So, do you guys all remember when the, uh, the Afro man walked through the white land and these houses went up for sale? You know, shit, not my motherfucking house. I'll be sitting on the porch as Afro, my, Afro man walks down the motherfucking street, you know? Then I noticed racist Randy over here across the street with his son. He's like, son, get in the car. There's a colored person in the neighborhood. Lock your doors. I'll handle this. Hello, sir. Hey, hey, hey. I hope you're having a nice day. I, I, I wear Jordans and I loved Michael Jackson when he was black. Anyways, have a nice day. I got to get going. Um, I got to, I'm going to be late for a meeting with Al Sharpton. West side. Get in the car. Fucking crazy ass motherfuckers. You know, everyone else can move if they want. 
uh, Afro man's walking on my crib any motherfucking time. We can laugh at the racist crackers moving a fucking way while we all back burn some motherfucking trees. God damn it. Crazy shit. What uh, in Palmdale? Was that the shit in the song? I can't remember. It's been a minute. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. You guys, uh, another question. You guys remember back in the day, probably this is like a male thing. I mean, I'm sure some of the women do it too, but, um, because, you know, either way, but if you just the person that, you know, would go hang out with your fucking uncle, then you get to that age where he wanted to give you your first fucking beer. And that shit was awesome, man. Like, it made you feel like a fucking adult. Y'all just fucking sharing a beer. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, unk. You know? You know, then, then, then the next thing you realize is the room starts fucking spinning. Uh, then you wake up on his couch butt naked with a condom hanging out of your asshole. Man, those sure were the fucking days. <clears throat> uh, if we can only go back. I'm going to have the Uncle Rico moments. He could have taken state or one state. Whatever the fuck he said. God damn it. Oh, I swear. This Colt 45 is amazing. Uh, took the day off work. Um, I was actually going to work on my, my song, but I didn't get the chance to. That's okay. I will get it done. Um, Rugby. Rugby has me pulling out these fucking drunken stories for y'all. Oh, this one's another high school one. Another buddy of mine went to his house. Uh, forget how he got the beer, to be honest. I know we had Bud Lights um, and Kill Juice. Like, I don't know. I cannot remember how we came across this. But basically for us, I don't know if anyone else does a, a, a version of this. Um, but you'll buy like a gallon of orange juice, dump half the gallon out, uh, put like a pint or a fifth of fucking Everclear in the bitch, a couple packets of your favorite Kool-Aid, and top it off with, uh, 7-Up was always good. We did Capri Suns back in school, or in high school. Um, then you can, and Mountain Dew works to, as well as too. Um, and you shake that bitch up, and even in college we'd make it, like our, like, no one had heard of it. And I was like, fuck it. We did it. We That'd be our pre-drinking drinks. Fucking kill juice. No fucking hit you. Um, but goddamn, again, back in that time in high school, I wasn't a drinker. So we, uh, we're sitting out back in his yard. Let's have a little fire. Um, I remember he thought it was like the craziest thing. I could drink a Bud Light in three big gulps. He's like, what the fuck? It wasn't even shotgun. I didn't even know how to fucking shotgun back then. So I don't even, I can't remember how many fucking Bud Lights I had. But I know we had to kill juice. It was a pretty fucking fun night. And then we uh we went to bed. And I he had a little I laid on the floor. I forget what the setup was. I know I had a blanket, a pillow. Um I don't know, either way. I'm laying on this floor and we just lay down and shit starts fucking spinning on me. Literally I'm like, oh fuck. And I couldn't even control it. I didn't have time. I the problem was I couldn't get up and go to the bathroom because his dad was getting up for fucking work. So I was like, shit. And I didn't know uh, if there was a trash can in the room. And it just fucking came up. I started fucking throwing up everywhere where I'm laying. Where I'm laying. Uh, and I heard him say, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> and, and then I passed out. Uh, apparently it, it reeked pretty bad. He got, he got up and tried to spray some air freshener in the house. And I, 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 I'm guessing his parents had to have known something was up, but woke up the next day. Um, you know what? No, I think I was on a little mattress on the floor cause we had to take, <laughs> we just grabbed the bedding. He's like, dude, this is. There was uh, a little business across the road. It used to be a restaurant. <clears throat> and then it turned into like a car place. Like get car worked on and shit. So we wrapped that up and took it across the road to the uh, dumpster and threw it out. Threw it away. Um, and I'm still friends with him on my... My personal profile, I don't think, I think he liked my old shit before it got crazy like it is now, um, but I know he would definitely remember that fucking story, 
Oh, <laughs> it was a goddamn mess. Ah, uh, so there you go, rugby. One more drunken story from back in my high school days. No, not many people know about that one, really at all. And now I'm telling everyone, this is uh, kind of wild. So anyone who knows me is gonna look back. I'm sure the story got told um, around school. Maybe not, because he didn't want his parents to know. I don't know, but people know about it. I know they do, but now everyone's going to fucking know about it. But anyways, motherfuckers, I'm going to jump off here. I've got a uh, dinner to make. What is it, 8.17? I got this done early. Um, I've got dinner to make, I'm going to shower and chill. And I started watching this movie, Oblivion, with Tom Cruise. I'd never seen it. Um, So I put it on earlier, just thinking I was just uh, like some background noise. And I got into it. I like it. And now I'm curious. I'm like 52 minutes in. I'm, I It's got my attention. I want to see what the fuck is going on and what's fucking happening. Anyone that watched Oblivion, um, he's with that woman who landed on the planet who we had memories of. And they went back to get the uh, flight recorder. And now whoever these other people are, are wheeling him into this fucking cave or something. And that's where I'm, that's where I'm at. But anyways, motherfuckers, thanks for watching. As always, I love you fucking all. You fucking rock. And don't forget about Ask McStud. No one is fucking sending me questions. I will answer anything you got. Just not about me. Like, I, personal questions, you know, I need help with this. I need help with that. Like, some Ann Landers, Dear Abby shit, you know? Like, Dr. Phil kind of shit. But in my fucking crazy, comical, fucking dumb way. Let me do it. Let me answer your questions. Anyways, motherfuckers, I'm going to jump off here. Thanks for watching. I'm McStud. Deuces, bitches. Ugh.